Uh, good people, I'm back with a brand new video. This is John from Kenya Education Guide. In this particular video, I want us to discuss the caregiving course in Kenya. Plenty of you have been telling us we want to do caregiving. Is it a good course? Does it have opportunities outside Kenya? Can you advise us to do it? So if you are one of those guys, please keep it here. Remember to subscribe and share this video. This is all about all you need to know about caregiving course in Kenya. Good. The first question is, what exactly is caregiving course all about? Some of the institutions that offer it call it nursing assistant. But exactly, what is the course all about? That is what you want to answer first. Now, caregiving is nothing else but all about giving care. So actually, the title itself tells you. But what do you mean by giving care? We give care to people who need care. So your subjects or your clients will be people who need care. This could be aged people who need, you know, a help, for example, in uh, getting their medicine, you know. So you could offer help in administering medicine. You could offer help to them when they are going to the washrooms. Part of giving care is also bathing these people. Part of giving care is taking them to bed, you know, helping them climb into the bed. So giving care, you know, helping them to access where they sleep. So basically, caregiving is all about making life more bearable for a person who is no longer independent. They cannot do things on their own. So this could be sick people. Uh, most of those with terminal illnesses, it could also be people even with disabilities, you know, you get, eh? it could be uh, even sometimes younger people who have, you know, diseases which makes them a bit limited in terms of doing things for themselves. So caregiving is about taking care of this person. So when you go to class, you are going to be taught these things among others, including things like doing first aid in case they get a medical emergency. How are you supposed to act? You know, etc. etc. Next, that very, very important question is it marketable and you know does it have opportunities and what we are going to say is very simple caregiving course is marketable depending on where you are so here at Kenya education guide our opinion is that it is marketable depending on where you are let's start with Kenya if you're doing this course and you want to work in Kenya, make money as a caregiver in Kenya, yes, it is possible. However, you may not make a lot of money. Reason? The opportunities are not many. So, in Kenya, uh, opportunities are there, but not so many. Why? Of course, we are not yet a developed economy. So we are not at the level of the USA, UK, Australia. So that means whenever we have people who need care in our homes, we tend to hire nannies, or even sometimes we share the responsibilities among ourselves as relatives. So we're going to be saying, today is you who is going to be helping the parent, tomorrow is you, that kind of a thing. So while there are a few institutions that have caregivers in Kenya, including a few hospices, there are not so many. So doing this course, and targeting jobs in Kenya is good, but it may not be as good because, as we said, opportunities are a bit not, not in abundance. What about if you do this course targeting working outside Kenya? 
the best option if you are to ask me. So outside, so that is diaspora. If you are targeting diaspora, there are a lot of opportunities, lots of opportunities. Actually, I have been going through newspapers and a few other publications and trying to study how is the market of caregivers in countries like the UK, in countries like the USA, in countries like Australia, how is the market? And the market is big, Germany, the market is big. Actually, uh, there has been even complaints and in some countries like the UK, where some of government officials are concerned that the country is becoming dependent on caregivers from outside. That is because there are a lot of people who need care, aged people of course, and those others that we mentioned, but there are not enough, the supply of caregivers is not enough to meet the demand. So, in terms of marketability, this cost is more marketable if you are in a position to make arrangements to fly outside Kenya. So, outside Kenya in the diaspora, that one I would say, tick. Question is, is it very easy to get a caregiving job outside Kenya? The reason I'll be telling you why you can go and study this course, and I'll show you the different options. But before we reach that point, the question is, is it really very easy as people make it sound for you to go and study this course outside Kenya? And this is what we can tell you here from Kenya Education Guide. Now, while it is not impossible, while it is not impossible, it is not that straightforward. It is possible to get caregiving jobs in the diaspora. Actually, people have been getting them. But is it as easy as people have told you? It is not. Reason is this. Number one, governments in these countries, take for example UK, are very strict when you come to immigration. So you cannot just wake up one day and decide me as John, because I've completed my caregiving course and I have this very beautiful certificate. I'm going to go and work in the UK today. No, it's not like that. There are laws that govern how agencies in these countries, because most of the time you go through agencies, can import labor into these countries. And these laws are very strict. So there is a process that you have to follow. So the first obstacle is you need to meet the different specifications of the immigration laws. Number two, I told you you need to go through agencies. There is a cost. You know, you can look at it as facilitation fees. A few of those who I know who have gone to some of these countries have ended up coughing between 250k to 500k. This money is paid to agencies. I told you the best way of going, getting these jobs, is to apply to agencies that offer these jobs in those countries. People who have done that, they are told, no, we have a cost that we have to meet in terms of uh, you know, giving you the payment letter, applying for you, you know, getting the clearance with the relevant authorities. So on average, it, it can sometimes come to about 500k. Not forgetting that you need to cater for your affair and a few other incidental expenses. So, uh, because of the strictness of the laws and the cost involved, it is not as straightforward. It actually means that sometimes, if you apply for these laws today, it could take you as longer, one and a half years, for you to finally secure your working visa to fly out to these countries to go and work as a caregiver. But the good thing, remember, is that it is possible. And there are people who have actually been going out. And they are there. And they are making, some of them are making good money. So I would say, yes, do it. But know how you will lease the, the, the money involved. And of course, you need to pray to God because sometimes a small hiccup may see you 
not meeting some of the specifications in the immigration laws and you you might that might make you remain here so it's a bit 50 50 a bit but if you are a risk taker it's worth trying which now brings me to the question eh? because we are saying the best way of doing or approaching this course is to take it with a name of frying out at some point. How do you actually uh, end up approaching these agencies? Because we say the best way is to go through these agencies. What I would say is you don't have to rely with an agency that has an office in Kenya. It's not a must. Today with the internet, you know the power of the internet. Eh? It has made things so easy. It's possible for you to actually apply for these jobs online. So just do a search for agencies on Google. Eh? For agencies offering caregiving jobs in the UK. You can substitute that with the US. You can substitute that with the Canada. Uh, recently, I had the government saying that they have an arrangement to have people moving from Kenya to go to Germany as caregivers. So yes, do a search. There are so many of them. You get so many. And they have a jobs page. Look for that page. Go and submit your application. They will tell you to fill certain information. They will tell you to attach certain documents. Make sure your CV is good. And you know there, there are some uh, requirements, some steps to follow. Do that, submit. Then wait. Of course, you want to give a reliable email. Now they will take you through the process if they are happy with your application. They are satisfied with what they have seen from your application. So they tell you now. Do you have a passport? Okay, you said a copy. Maybe uh, they tell you now. Uh, at this point, we might do an interview for you uh, to you online. So they they do an interview for you virtually. Again, if you pass through that stage. They'll, they'll take you step by step until you are told now. You can go to the embassy, we'll give you a letter, go to the embassy, apply for the visa, and slowly by slowly. Of course, the payments will be made along the way. You might end up securing securing that position. So the best way what I would say is apply online. Now, in terms of uh, the other important thing, eh, is make sure that uh, you do a good course, you do a recognized course. This is the truth. Not all giving courses, and I told you sometimes people call it certified nursing assistant for some reason. Eh? Uh, there are some countries which tend to refer to it like that. Eh? What you need to know is that not all caregiving courses are recognized by the employers in these nations. Actually, for a country like the USA, they will say, if you want to go there, work as a caregiver, you must have gone through a certified nursing assistant course or a caregiving course that takes at least 100 hours. So, if you want to do it, make sure the course you do is actually recognizable. Doesn't matter where you're going to be studying at, make sure it is recognizable. So, that gives you a paper away so that even when you're applying here, it's going to be a bit straightforward for you. Now, now that you know where to start, let us see, where can you actually study for this course? So if you decide, well, I think I just feel that this is my calling and I want to apply, uh, where can I really study? Before I tell you where to study, there's something else that is very, very important. Depending on where you are, you need to have uh, to pass some language tests. You need to pass some language tests. For example, for some of these countries, you must be good in English. So some of them will tell you, can you pass TOEFL test? Eh? So uh, you might be forced to go and do some su some tests in a certified certif center like TOEFL. We have a few of certified centers in Nairobi. And uh, for Germany, of course, it means you need to pass your German level one, level two, level three. I think they have uh, they have requirements. Eh? They, they will tell you. And that is another very, very key thing. So question next is, where can you actually study? Now... Um, in terms of where to study, you have options. You have options. Where to study. Then I'll tell you about the fees also. What is your decision in Nairobi? What unfortunately uh, we are not able to confirm is whether 
the courses that these institutions offer are actually recognizable outside there. So you may need to visit uh, these institutions and uh, actually do an inquiry to find out whether they really do have accreditation with the agencies in these countries because I told you, depending on how you want to go, you must meet certain training duration. And some of these institutions are like go care. Because that's for go care. Yeah, and you have quite a number of them, eh? including some hospitals offering this. But the best way to be sure is go there, uh, do any queries, find out whether the, the, the course meets the threshold. Eh? You can ask about, you can do a bit of research. You can actually read reviews online and see how they are. Eh? I told you that Kenyan, uh, Kenyan Education Guide is a close partner of Kenyan and College. I need to specify here that Kenyan and College has not yet started offering the caregiving course. However, we are currently in talks with one of the very big agencies uh, that uh, hires caregivers in a few countries. We hope that we'll come to a, a, a conclusion very soon. And once we do that, we will be teaching their program here. So that means that you're going to be having a program that is recognizable, that is accredited, that once you go to apply for these jobs, it's going to be straightforward. But for now, you have not started. We are going to be updating you as soon as we do that, so that uh, we always want to do something. We always want to do something that we know we are sure of in terms of being helpful to students. Otherwise, for those, if you want to do it immediately, you can check out Goki and a few others and then see how far they, 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 they can take you. You know, how, how far is the recognition of their programs. Now, fees. Fees. Remember, I know you can do this course online, yeah? Though you need to go for practical, so I mean, investigate that course, see whether uh, they have arrangements to enable you to go for practical, maybe in a medical facility somewhere, because if you do it practical online without doing uh, practicals, you know, you do it 100% online without doing practicals, sometimes it becomes a bit tricky in terms of acceptability. In terms of fees, uh, what I've seen is that institutions are charging between 40 to 120k, 40 to 120k, most of them. In terms of duration, I have seen people taking between three months to six months. Again, it's a question of where you are studying. I told you the most important thing is to investigate the course and make sure that it meets all the thresholds which are there so that once you, you qualify, once you finish the course, the certificate you get is actually going to be acceptable. Now, maybe the other thing that you may want to know is uh, in terms of caregiving, is in terms of, uh, you know, that is to know in terms of caregiving, the other thing you may want to know in terms of caregiving is who is it best for? So, who is this cause best for? I would say for anyone who is looking for a way of making a living. However, uh, it is best for those people who, you know, who have no problem eh, uh, hardening, eh, hardening eh, sick people, people uh, who have uh, medically derapidating illnesses, you know. So, you know, not, not everyone can, for example, become a nurse. Those of us who fear things like blood, hmm? you cannot even kill a rat because you don't like seeing blood. I don't think it can be a good one for you. So it needs those people who have compassion, you know, people who are very patient because sometimes the person you are helping is a, you know, they are sick, yes? And sometimes they are also going to be a bit stubborn. So, yeah, so if you're that person, come, you have compassion, and you feel that, uh, you know, you don't have a problem having people who have disabilities, people who have, uh, you know, challenges uh, in terms of doing this for themselves, then it can be good for you. Uh, of course, in terms of entry requirements, I have seen people being accepted with a different. So in terms of entry requirements, different for the most part. Actually, I have seen that the most important thing they ask is KCSE, but I told you that you must... Uh, pass some language test, or at least if you do not pass your language languages in KCSE, at least you'll be finding that uh, you may be required to go and take some tests in languages, TOEFL and others, and you will be 
good. So in terms of how much you can make, uh, in terms of earning potential, uh, one of my friends who went to the UK, he tells me he makes between 300k to 500k, depending on the number of clients that he is able to attend in a month. Because again, sometimes you find that uh, patient join, uh, join the institution he is working for, others go drop out. So on average, he tells me in a year, uh, once he compares his numbers between 300 to 500k, so it means even if you got a loan to set off all those expenses that you will be in carry as you prepare to fly out, then it is, might still be worth it. Eh? Yeah, so maybe if you go to Australia, the pay might be higher. If you go to a very busy place, the pay might be higher. So I think it is very much worth it, but know that it is the best if you're able to go outside the country. Yeah, so uh, good people, that is uh, what I wanted to share today with you about caregiving costs in Kenya and some of the bases you need to know. I don't know we have not yet started it at Kenyan College, which is our partner here at Kenya Education Guide. And once we do that, we are going to update you. To do what we are doing is currently discussing with a partner, a potential partner. And once we make an agreement, we'll be making it known to you so that maybe we'll be happy to teach you and maybe help you go through the process. Till next time, this is John. Remember to subscribe and share this video.